guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I'm taking a look at Broadside. I'm opening him. Yes, this is an opening video, not a review, but I decided, hey, this is cool looking, probably, so I decided to pick it up. Actually, Broadside, I was not that excited for, but I decided to get it anyways because, well, I had an interest for it. It, it looked distinct. But when they announced that Broadside was coming out and then they revealed it, I was kind of disappointed by his look. But who knows, maybe he's actually better. I don't know, I'll have to open it up to see. So yes, I got the trusty scissors. And we're going to cut it on the side. And I noticed that the box is smushed. So hopefully that's not a sign of something. I didn't really notice till after I picked it up. So there we go, there's the instructions. The instructions fell! No. And by the way, I know that he's an Autobot. People are asking, why do they have Decepticon logos on the side here? I think it's just a 2017 thing. I, I don't think it's a mistake. Because if you look back... There's the instructions. If you look back at the Voyagers from 2016, they had Autobot logos. So I think it's just moving on to the next year. But yeah, I, I, I like the instructions. They're okay. Anyways, let's pull this guy out of the cardboard thing. And zoom out just a bit. Look at Broadside right here with all his broadsidiness. He's definitely a broad guy. Don't know why the Headmaster needs to be painted gray when a lot of this is not painted gray. It just looks weird, but whatever. Hey, I'm not going to judge it, and I'm also not going to take these, uh, things out of the prongs. I mean, uh, they look cool. And if you've seen the tidal wave, it has the exact same thing. So if people are wondering, oh, are those dark, uh, silver bolts aerial bots? Here's my thing. What if they're minicons for the, uh, tidal wave? Because they're small enough or something. I don't know. Just an idea. Could be. So anyways, cutting this out, we got the gun, there we go. I like the gun in the transparent blue, I don't know, there's something about that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have to cut? So there's a leg, he could, he could kick, yay! Let's see, okay, cut, cut! Not that my scissors are dull, it's just that they don't... There's something in this... Oh, there we go. It's just that these twist eyes thingies... Well, not twist eyes, but they're very hard to cut. There we are. And there he is! There's Broadside! Yay! Broadside! Okay. Anyways, let's see how he is. Uh, we got this giant rubber mess that we have to clear out of the way and I'm not even sure you guys know that I don't like cutting the rubber bands because I feel like I could use this for something else hmm experimentation I don't know but yeah I just don't like uh, ripping out the rubber bands what I like to do is pop out the headmaster because most of that is meant to hold that in place so generally I just pop out the headmaster and then that generally loosens all the rubber bands. So it's got one going around the headmaster and then it's got one going around for the backpack, but it doesn't seem to want to come out of this side. I, I can see where it ends, but it just doesn't want to come out. Uh, let's see, maybe if I go the other way. Uh, let's see, where does that rubber band go through? Uh, let's see. Uh, please don't tell me I have to cut it. I don't want to do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, maybe if I do that, maybe I'll slide it through. There we go. Got that. Then, for some reason on this side, and that's ruining the foil too, so I don't like this. Uh, yeah, look at how that ruins the foil. Man, that was... Terrible thinking on their part. That is right through the hinge. And I can't get that out. What the hell? 
I know this is annoying people because they're telling me just take off the rubber band or cut it. Well, I just don't want to. There we go. Man, what terrible idea that was. But I got it out and that's what counts. Let's see. Okay, swing this, I guess flat. And then just swing that down and there we go. There's the tidal wave, not tidal wave. It will be tidal wave. There is the broadside, and uh, as far as the bulk of the figure is concerned, I kind of like it. Don't like these little wings. Maybe they're supposed to be in a different position. Yes, they are. They're supposed to be forward, I guess. And I guess they plug into each other because I'm noticing a tab and a notch. That looks like it's meant to fit into place, so there we go. Um, I don't have the Alpha Trion, so anyone looking for a comparison on that? Well, I can't really do that. Uh, trying to look for the headmaster. I lost it for a second. There it is. Ah, no, stop! You're not supposed to do that. Oh, I like how loose this is. In a way, because now that's going to get in the way of the head articulation. Because sometimes I, I want that down, and then now that's just going to move out of place. So there's that. Uh, how do you unlock that? There we go. So it's that little gray bit at the bottom there. So yeah. Uh... A little bit of a mixed bag so far for the robot mode, but this isn't a review, this is just an opening. I might like it after a while, I don't know. I thought that these were stress marks on the top here, and it, it might be, but I don't think it's too much to really go where, where. Alright, let's see, what do they have for the instructions? Oh, cool, they're not the strips, they actually fold out, good. Woo! Okay. Let's see, pull off that and let's get him into his aircraft carrier mode, which is probably going to be the best uh, mode. Uh, Broadside's little guy is kind of cute. I don't know, uh, I don't like that. So anyways, moving on from that, let's get some light on this, this guy. Let's fold those down. And of course that will unlock anyways, because my finger slipped. Let's fold this out and around like so. I do like how everything comes together on the bot on the back there. Don't know why, it's just uh, I, I like the look. Anyways, uh let me guess. This is supposed to fold into there, but I'm not gonna do that right away. Because the instructions don't tell me to. Uh fold in these and I see that there is a tab thing, so I have to watch out for that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the legs swing to the sides like so. I don't like how they swing around. One of these is a little too tight. And they combine like so, I believe. And that little gray thing flips out. And these just flip in, I guess, or something. I don't know. I guess it goes like that. I don't know. Why am I annoying? Anyways, let's see. Oh, that's funny. It shows you uh, how to com- or it shows you the legs being combined and then when it shows you to move the feet, it shows that the feet- it shows that the legs are uncombined, if that makes sense. I- I don't know what I'm saying. For some reason, that strut doesn't go out all the way, which kind of sucks, but whatever, you know. <laughs> Thank God I only paid 20 bucks for this. Usually, Voyagers out here are 30. Which hopefully, they don't go up after the Age of Extinction figures. Let's see, I'm going to say that those swing back. Come on. There we go. There's something... Okay, so these wing bits will fold into place right there. There's a tab right there, tab right up there. I love how all this comes together. Like, I I'm starting to really appreciate this mode. There's something about it that I really like. Okay, so what did we do about the arms? I believe you rotate these around like so, and then tab them into place, because I see the tab on the wing. 
and I don't see that being placed in the jet mode, so I'm going to say that that is correct. Yes, it is correct. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. What else do we do? We bring these down, like so. Which I'm going to be kind of careful for. And then, let's see. We bring this out, and we bring that up. And I love that little bit of detail. Pretty cool. And then it shows you you can take off all the plain bits. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to plug them right there like so. And where does the gun go? The gun can go right on the side here if it wants to. It doesn't really have a place to go. But uh, yeah, I love the cruiser mode. Oh my god. God, this looks fantastic. Will it stand? Oh, yeah. I love how that displays. Uh, not too pretty from the sides, but the top view is just gorgeous. I love how that looks. And you can open this up, I believe. Yes, and add the Titan Master inside here. If you want, you can add him to the gun if you want. I'm not going to really do that because we also have a jet mode to go to. I've already wasted everyone's time, but man, this looks good. Uh, okay, anyways, let's go on to the jet mode, which I think it's funny. This is an aircraft carrier, but it also transforms into a jet. That's kind of like, how does that work? Anyways, let's pop off the wings from the sides there and bring them around like so. Come on, untab the arm, untab those bits, hate these foil stickers so badly. Anyways, fold up the landing gear, and then what else do we do? Okay, so these panels will flip up like so. And I know that there's other um, ways to do this. I, I know there's fan modes, but I'm just going to do it right now as the appropriate look for the... Uh, jet load okay so these will I'm just gonna bring these out for right now and then let's see does this gray strut go anywhere uh, let's see okay so this rotates in like that and let's see okay so the wing goes out like that does it that's how it looks Okay, I guess. Uh, let's see. Oh, the foot comes in like so. Which isn't bad. And yeah, I believe that this uh, strut piece is supposed to fold in like so. Oh, sorry. I have the camera too low. Sorry! But anyways. The point is you're supposed to watch me struggle, which is hard to do when you can't watch me struggle. I guess the uh, arms just tab into up here, up onto the crotch, because it has that little tab thing. Yep. And that's supposed to go right into there, I believe. Though it doesn't really tab in too well. And then these just fold down like that, I believe. I don't know. I, I hate how the back of this jet boat looks. I really do. I think it looks ugly as hell. Anyways, uh, okay, the arms pop out. I didn't know about that, but the arms do that. Uh, let's see, the wing. Come on, there we go. And then we bring that down, I guess. Into there. And let's see, I guess the arms just tab somewhere. There's a, there's a tab, there's a hook that I guess goes into there. But I can't really tell exactly what it's supposed to do. The instructions don't tell you to turn them around. They tell you to put it here as they have it. So I guess that those little hooks at the arms, it's got little hooks right there, is just supposed to lightly tab or something? I don't know. All I know is I already hate this jet mode. All right, uh, there we are. And then the wings fold out like so, I guess. And, uh, is that the jet mode? That is the jet mode. It looks like shit. I actually really hate the jet mode. 
I think it looks like garbage. Real, real garbage. Yeah, and it says you can put the planes on this mode. Why the hell would you? Anyways, you can place the little guy on the seat inside there, which is pretty cool. And then you can plug in the gun like that. And I guess bring these out to the side or up like that. I don't know. The back of this looks terrible. I hate it. I hate it. It's supposed to look like boosters, I guess, but it just looks like garbage. Ugh. But, you know what? I consider that a win. The robot mode is okay. The, um, the carrier mode is good. This mode, yeah, <laughs> I just hate it. I, I really do. So there's that. Nothing good I can say about this. Nothing good. I just despise it. So there is that. But hey, it's got a jet mode at least. Like the, uh, like the original. That's good. Come on. They could have done better than this. They could have done easily better than this. But nope, they decided, hey, let's just completely fuck it up. But hey, again, at least the other modes are fine. It's just this one I hate. So yeah, garbage, garbage, garbage. But the rest of it is fine. Robot mode, as I said, fine. Carrier mode, fine. So, a few problems here or there, but I wouldn't say this figure's terrible. I'm kind of glad I got it. It's just, it could have been better. Just a lost opportunity. But I don't hate having him. I think he's fine. Plus, also, the main reason that I got him, the main reason why I wanted him, his Type Master's name is Blunderbuss. Blunderbuss. What kind of a name is that? Blunderbuss? Oh, I had to have him. So. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. I thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, I was just putting things away when I forgot the most important part. The card. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.